Had I been stretching wrong this whole time? Did I go through all of that pain for nothing? Were the people going to live their lives never being startled by a six foot four man doing the splits? I have always wanted to be the guy who could drop down into splits in random situations just to get a reaction out of passers-by or family and friends. Years ago, I saw a video by Logan Paul where he did exactly that. He traveled around the world, dropping into splits and shocking people around him. Logan is a big guy like myself, so seeing him achieve such an amazing talent made me think that maybe my dreams of wowing the general public was within reach. All that was left in front of me was a little thing called pain. So I started researching the internet for all the top five secret hacks to unlock the splits with little to no effort, but would always find a dead end. After countless YouTube videos, I ended up discovering a book by a guy called Jujim Jujim Jujimufu titled Legendary Flexibility, and things really started to make sense. Juji Mufu is well known for his mind-blowing acrobatic abilities and out-of-the-box thinking. Surely this guy knows a thing or two about stretching. I started reading the book with the hope of once again finding some sort of a secret technique or cheat code, but Juji had much better advice. Advice I thought I would never hear. In order to get my front splits, I had to sit in the front splits position for a very long time. This is exactly what I did not want to hear, but as I read on, I started to learn how keeping it simple and achievable is always best. Whereas I was used to attempting multiple crazy positions and techniques, sticking to that philosophy of simple and achievable, my plan was to stretch every single day for around 10 to 15 minutes. I felt this was a good starting point that I could mentally stick to and stay motivated towards during the initial stages. I wasn't about to try and perfect a habit I haven't even started. I would begin each session with some leg swings front to back and side to side to get them warm and then commence the pain train. The goal was to start a timer and swap each leg on the minute for 10 minutes. The key things to note with my body position was to keep my hips facing forward, straighten my back leg at the knee and keep my chest up and pelvis tucked under. I used a bench and table to keep myself stable all their arms, and to have control over how much pressure I was applying in my screaming muscles. The two main muscles involved in the front splits are the hamstrings and the hip flexors. And due to the amount of time I spend sitting down for my work, my hip flexors were incredibly tight. Stretching them made me feel nauseous, similar to the feeling of having a lacrosse ball thrown at my boys. The morning after day one, I could barely walk down the stairs. My hip flexors were experiencing some pretty bad delayed onset muscle soreness, or DOMS. But I thought of the people and how amazed they would be seeing me in the splits. I couldn't let them down. I had to keep stretching. Over the next week, I would learn that 90% of the stretching I was doing each morning was all about my hip flexors, and my hamstrings didn't come into play until my hip flexors caught up. Up. I repeated my morning routine day after day after day, and to my surprise, I started to see results quite fast. This gave me motivation to push a little deeper and hold a little longer. At the two-week mark, I had some solid progress. The DOMS had subsided, and I was feeling more comfortable sitting in the front splits position. However, I started to feel like I was plateauing. I hit a certain depth, and the days went on, and it became increasingly difficult to get any lower. It was time to turn back to just... It was time to turn back to Juji Mufu's guidance to see if there was something I was missing. As I read through the book, I began to remember one of Juji's key lessons which explained the importance of incorporating active stretching against a resistance, otherwise known as proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, or PNF. What this means is instead of just sitting in the stretched out position with relaxed muscles, I should also be intermittently applying pressure against the ground and contracting my muscles. By doing so, it will not only allow me to sink deeper into the stretch, but will also help me build practical strength in the full splits position. Had I been stretching wrong this whole time? Did I go through all of that pain for nothing? Were the people going to live their lives never being startled by a six foot four man doing the splits? <laughs> the short answer was no. However, moving forward, I needed to incorporate this new technique if I was ever going to accomplish my lifelong goal. The days rolled on and with the new knowledge under my belt, I slowly began to creep lower and lower. The PNF stretching technique really did have a huge impact on my progress. Every minute I would add in an active stretch and apply pressure to the ground for 10 seconds, then relax deeper into the stretch. As it moved closer to the 30 days, I decided to add in a five minute rest in the middle of my stretching session, as well as extending the session to 15 to 20 minutes, as I was becoming more comfortable in the position. 
the last week was super tough and after many days of pain, low motivation and pushing my mental and physical limit, the 30 day journey had come to an end and it was time to reveal my results. Both of my legs had made huge improvements over the 30 days. But the biggest difference was in my left leg where I had been able to accomplish 90% depth. To anybody walking by, they would call this the full splits. However, I know I have more room to improve on. With that said, I am so incredibly happy with these results and never imagined accomplishing something only a tiny percent of the world can do and doing it in just 30 days. So what did I learn? I learned that consistency is key. 75% of the time, I did not want to stretch. I had to go through the same routine of convincing myself just to get started. I always felt great after a stretching session and never regretted it. So why was it such a hard battle to get started every time? Ultimately, it came down to having the correct mindset. Don't let your feelings dictate your actions, but rather let your actions dictate your feelings. Even though I didn't feel motivated to stretch, I knew that my actions of stretching would leave me feeling more motivated after I was finished. Alternatively, if I let my feelings take control and decided not to stretch, initially it felt relieving. However, as the day went on, I would feel guilty about my decision and become disappointed in myself and spiral into negative thinking. Physically, I learned the importance of incorporating PNF stretching to help sink lower into the stretch and to build practical strength in the full range of motion. I learned that a simple warm up of leg swings was a great way to ease into the session. Stretching at the same time each day was extremely helpful in keeping me accountable and not falling into the mindset of, I'll do it later. I learned that keeping it simple is best and to not get distracted by unnecessary exercises in the hope of some sort of cheat code to success. Overall, I learned that in order to achieve the front splits, it's just as much about mindset and putting things in place to help you stay motivated than it is about the actual physical act of sitting in a painful stretch for a prolonged period of time. With all that said, guys, there's only one question left. Did I accomplish the goal that I set out to achieve? Of course I did. Here I am. I'm in the splits in public. It's amazing. And is this a skill which I'll be using for the rest of my life, which is completely useful? No, of course not. It's completely useless. I'll never use it again. But the fact is, it's not about what I've achieved or what I've unlocked. It's all about what I set out to do over a 30 day period and conquering that goal. So my question to you is, what are you guys going to achieve over the next 30 days?